As of today, it's easier than ever before to start a successful faceless YouTube channel because in this video, I'll be revealing the secret of this mind-blowing new AI tool that can create you complete viral faceless videos in literally 5 minutes just by using my one secret prompt template. This will generate you the script, voiceover, media, music and put it together perfectly all by one click of a button. So the first thing you need to do is choose a niche for your faceless channel. You could choose absolutely any niche that you want but the ones I feel like perform the best are the ones in the niche of money, business, travel, fitness and exercise, fitness and health, motivation, love and success. So from any of these, choose a niche or a sub-niche within these sections. So for the sake of this video, to make it very digestible, I'll be using the travel niche. But once you have your niche decided, you need to come up with video ideas. In order to do this, you're going to come up to ChatGPT and you can find ideas by asking it these two different prompts. So the first one is this. Suggest creative video ideas within niche that can be produced using stock footage available online. I'm looking for engaging concepts that will captivate my audience and effectively convey the essence of niche. And then what you want to do is everywhere that says niche, you're going to fill it in with your niche. So in our case, that is again travel. And then I can go ahead and hit enter. So now as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead and given me 15 different ideas. And just from looking at these ideas, you can see already these are not just your typical top 10 places to visit ideas, which we all know is pretty popular in the travel niche. The second way you can go about getting ideas is by asking this prompt. Give me 10 viral video ideas I can create in the travel niche. This is, of course, where you put your selected niche that can be created using stock footage, for example. And then this is where you input an example of what videos are usually created within that niche. So again, for the travel niche, we all know there's many videos that say top 10 places to travel. Now, if you're not sure what videos are usually done in your niche, you can just go ahead to YouTube and then type in what your niche is. So in my case, this is travel. Looking from the first page, what do we see? 50 bucket list destinations. So already I'm getting ideas of what videos people typically create. So whatever you found, you want to just type it in this section and then hit enter. And now as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead and generated me 10 video ideas that are similar to this video idea that I already know perform best on YouTube. You would know what would perform best because you would have searched into Google and see what people typically create. So you can use this prompt or you could use this prompt. The choice is yours. But once you've done this, you need to go through this list and choose which one you want. If you don't find any you want right there you're not limited to it it's not the end of the world you can go ahead and ask for this prompt give me 10 more and it will go ahead and provide you even more options so go through the list and choose the idea that you think you want to create for your first video so once you've selected on your video idea in my case i've selected number 12 what you need to do now is generate the video prepare to have your mind blown because you're going to freak out about how easy and amazing this is and i can't believe i'm actually sharing this secret with you guys because i can guarantee you almost everybody who watches this video will be equipped to start a faceless channel but let me stop just beating around i'm sorry i'm excited what you want to do is come on over to nvidia ai i'll leave the link for it in the description you can try it right now for completely free and before you say no i've, I've heard about nvidia before i've seen nvidia before you have not seen this this is brand new and it's insane so trust me stay right here and then once you come on over to nvidia ai it's going to take you to this page where you can input a prompt to give it the detailed instruction to create your video the prompt you're going to be using is this prompt and you can go ahead and take a screenshot of it right now i'm going to also also leave it in the comments so you can simply just copy and paste it but as you can see the prompt template you have to fill in the blank now i'm going to show you two ways you can go about filling in this blank the first way is going to be easy and then the second way is going to be super easy using the first way what you want to do is this you want to take the prompt i've given to you and then you want to paste it right here into this chat box now as you can see this prompt i've put in bracketed information this is what you want to simply fill in with the video idea that we got from chat gpt first things first how long do you want your videos to be that depends on you if you don't really care to have in mid-roll ads and if you really more want to grow your channel faster i recommend stay around the five minute line and then you could extend your videos later on if you want to have mid-roll ads within your videos then keep it over eight minutes i believe youtube decreased that so three minutes and what platform youtube the next bracket is detailed explanation of video topic this is where you want to come on over to chat gpt you simply want to copy and paste what chat gpt said it was about then you're going to come back to in video delete this part and paste it in now it says the video should include specifics in this section i give you some example 
if you want it to be the video should include point formatting the video should be in the storytelling format the video should be in a rhyme whatever you want the video to include in a sense this is what you want to put here so i'm going to say the video should include storytelling the overall mood of the video should be this is where again you input the type of mood i want the mood to be adventurous you put whatever you want the aim of the video is and then this is where you put what you want the video to accomplish to educate people on the different landmarks simple on to the next part the voiceover should be and then in this case we'll say we want a male and then here you input their accents so i'll say a male with a heavy british accent and then this is where you select the type of pacing you want his voice to be so in this case i want his voice to be dynamic and dynamic simply means there'll be some highs there'll be some lows fast slows it won't just be monotonous here we're going to say what type of wood style you want so i want it to be sophisticated and then do you want a little bit of stock footage a lot in my case i want this to have a lot of stock footage so that it could really get the scenery that we need and then lastly what type of music you would want so in this case i would say add in some historical music anything around that realm and just like that that's the first way you can go about creating that one master prompt now i know you had to sit and think and use your brain to figure out how to fill in these things i know sometimes we could all get lazy and hey i don't blame you so i'm going to show you an even easier way for all of you that said this is too complicated money trust me i'm going to make it as easy as possible for you so no excuses the second way is to come back over to ChatGPT and ask it this prompt and then whoa 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 it looks like a lot but it's easy keep watching what you want to do is says using idea number and then you put in the idea you selected fill in this prompt only changing the information in the brackets and then this was a master prompt template i gave you in the comments you're going to put it here so now you see how we manually did this ourselves instead of us doing it we're going to have chat gbt do it yeah easy i know i know you're welcome but what you want to do is simply take out this bracket which i had for you here now considering since we did ask for multiple and multiple ideas you want to be very specific and just ensure that you copy the title of the video as well so we'll say number 12 which was the one we selected but then we'll also just copy the title of it just so that it's specific and now all we need to do is hit enter and just like that chat gbt has gone ahead and generated us an even more detailed explanation and now in both cases this is both good if you can't think of anything too specific just have chat gbt do it or if you want to give the video a flavor of your own thoughts your own feelings then filling it in manually is a better way to go so you choose whatever you want but all you really need to do now is copy what it gave you come back over to nvidia ai delete what we previously put and paste it in and you see it all fits because they have a limit of 3000 words once it's done guess what guys all you need to do is click the one button like i promised you in the intro which is generate a video and then after you click generate video it's going to go ahead and show you this tiny little text box where you can refine your video even further it just wants to verify that this is what you wanted so in what is our audience in our case travelers we want to target travelers the look and feel we want it to be epic yeah we want it to be epic and then the platform is youtube like we said and now all you need to do is hit continue and just like that it's going to begin generating you the full video you don't have to go find the voiceover you don't have to go do all these things and put it together manually it's about to do this all just from this one prompt voila it's generated us our video let's see what it's got for us from the humble beginnings of mud huts to the soaring skyscrapers that punctuate our modern skyline from the soaring skyscrapers that punctuate our modern <laughs> if that isn't sophisticated language i don't know what is so as you can see it's generated us do i say a marvelous script since we're using sophisticated language the voiceover amazing i don't know if you can hear but if you listen closely there is background music and not only that if we scroll through as you can see it has used so many different clips you would not believe and what's good to at the beginning of each one as you can see it's even added in the text for us amazing what i told you guys now hold on hold on we're not done yet if you think that this is already impressive just wait till you see what else this can do so the next thing we need to talk about is how do you edit this with ai generating this entire thing there may be something you don't like you want to change and that's fine when it comes to editing this there are three ways you can go about editing this so the first way you can go about editing this is having in video themselves regenerate the complete video for you in order to do this it's quite simple at the bottom right here you just click where it says regenerate and then you can change anything you want so for example if we don't want it to be epic anymore we can change it to now inspiring click continue and now as you can see it's going to go ahead and regenerate the entire video for us using our new inputs now as you can see it's generated as a brand new video now let's see this one the sleek steel edifices sleek steel edifices they keep using the bit sorry i don't know why i'm getting so excited over this sophisticated language do you hear this voice this isn't like the usual ai voices that we hear do you hear this Interior 
interior design with its intricate network that actually sounds like somebody's like voice like recording it themselves i'm telling you this is a complete upgrade i love this i love this and don't you worry if you don't like the new generated one you did not lose the first one as you can see there's number two number one if you click number one there you go this was the first one it generated us so don't worry you won't ever lose your work now the second way you can go about editing your video is by doing it manually in order to do this what you want to do is come on over to the bottom here where it says edit and then you want to click edit and then it gives you these two options so if you want to edit the media you click edit media and then it shows you all the different medias that it used and as you can see it highlights the script to show you where to use that media for so let's just say example for the first clip we don't want this one in order to change it you can click upload and upload something from your own camera roll if you already have that or you can search in video stock gallery which has over thousands of thousands of media so whatever you want you simply want to search it into the search bar and then you can click stock or select all and then hit enter and then it will show you all the different searches for what you asked for i can simply just click this one hit replace and then it will be replaced all you need to do now is hit apply and then as you can see it's telling you it's changing the media now that it's taking us back to the scene if we hit play as you can see it's replaced the first scene with the scene that we selected and then if you wanted to manually edit the script you click where it says edit script and then it's going to open this window where you're able to see the entire script in order to change something it's as simple as clicking the text deleting it and writing something brand new and then as you can see it's also sectioned if you wanted to add a whole new section you can do this yourself by clicking onto the plus button and then labeling the chapter and then type in your own script and then that would also be added into the video as well and then once you've added in your changes all you need to do is click where it says apply changes then it would go ahead and apply the changes you made into your video now the two ways i've shown you so far are all cool and all great having it regenerate and manually doing it yourself that's familiar but wouldn't it be amazing if you wanted something to change and you could simply say like can you just change this and then it was like okay and then it changes it for you without you having to do anything wouldn't that be cool what if i tell you that it does that for those of you who've been resisting this because you feel like but i can't edit or doing it yourself takes too much time this is about to change that i know you're excited so let me just show you coming back onto the video you see where it says edit you want to click on to edit now i know you saw this text box before and was probably wondering money what does this do so firstly let's just listen to how this video starts have you ever paused to marvel at the architectural wonders that surround us? Okay, we heard it. Great, fine. But what if I wanted it to say something like, hey guys, it's Monique or something along that line. In order to do this, you want to type exactly what you want it to do, just like how you use ChatGPT. So in this case, we're going to say add a scene at the beginning because that's what you want. You want it to add a scene at the beginning that says, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Monique, which is my name. And then hit generate. And just like that, it's going to take that prompt, so what we told it to do, and it's going to do it don't believe me okay okay that's fine that's fine just wait a second just wait a second let it do it now it's done it says it's added it in so let's see hi there welcome to my channel architectural wonders with monique i'm monique your guide through the captivating world of architecture and then as you can see what it did was it edited it a little bit so it can flow better with the video if you don't want it to edit it that's fine you can go to where it says edit script and then you can simply take out the extra parts that you don't want now i know what you're thinking oh my gosh this is great this is cool i know but that's not all it can do so for example let's just say instead of just adding a scene at the beginning we want to add a scene at the end like a new outro i can tell it to do just that guys again it's simple it's like you're talking to it so i'm telling it add scene at end that says subscribe to Monique's channel and then hit generate. Now let's see what it's given us. Space, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join us here on Monique's channel. Did you hear what it said? Don't forget to subscribe to Monique's channel. That's me because I'm giving you guys all the secrets right now. And if you think that this is going to help you create a successful channel, you heard what it said. Subscribe to my channel. We have this voiceover, right? Architectural wonders that surround Which is a lovely, sophisticated accent. But let's just say we didn't like it. Mm, we hated it. We can change it. So let's change this from a sophisticated lady to a man with a heavy British accent. To do this, you simply type in, like I said, exactly what you want. And as you can see, I said change VO, which is voiceover, to male heavy british accent and then hit generate now as you can see it says it's changed the voice to a new one so let's just click a random spot in the video and hit play the great wall is more than just a physical structure this is like ChatGPT for video editing this is amazing and i just showed you a few of what it can do it can not only change the intro the outro and change the voiceover you can tell it and have it put the voiceover louder and the background music lower you can have it change scenes within the video for example if you didn't like this media right here you could tell it to change this media into a different architecture into something different you could even change the entire theme of the video by telling it change the theme you could tell it change the music into something more beat i'm just going to put a picture on screen of some of the prompts you could use so feel free to take a screen
screenshot so you can have an idea of what you can ask it but again ask it for what you want and it will provide that for you now that you know how you can edit your video in three different ways you can go around play with the edit saying use one or use all three ways and then when you're done all you need to do is export your video and in order to export it you go to where it says export click on export video and then you're going to select what you want it to, to export the video within just make sure you have 1080p selected click continue and then it's going to begin rendering your video and once it's done at the bottom here you'll be able to click download and then it's going to download your video right onto your laptop and one also great thing they're working on when it comes to exporting a video instead of exporting directly in this way and then downloading it right away for the more seasoned editors out there you can edit this way further because you'll be able to export it directly into nvidia's editing timeline where you can then begin to edit the video even further so for you seasoned editors it's been a few more weeks because it's coming now the last thing you need to do is upload your video to your youtube channel when it comes to doing anything for your channel in regards to media i recommend you use canva this is what i personally use so the first thing you need to do is design your channel you need the main thing which is your channel banner and your profile photo in order to get these two things it's simple you're going to come on over to canva and in the search bar you'll search for what you want so in this place youtube banner and then you're going to click onto this one and now as you can see canva has over 5,000 templates you could choose from and you can simply click onto them edit them and use that for your banner now it's the same exact process when it comes to your youtube logo you come to the same spot you do a search for this you click onto the option and then as you can see there's lots of lots of different templates you can choose from and then lastly the most most important thing what people are going to see when they land on your video in order to create the thumbnail again with canva it's super easy you're going to come onto this box and then you're going to do a search for youtube thumbnail and then hit enter and now as you can see there's over 18,000 templates for you to choose from so you can choose any of these templates to create your thumbnail or you can create something from scratch and wait 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 it gets even better if you think this is too many to go through to find the one that you want for your channel we know that we have a travel channel so right away it says youtube thumbnail we can go ahead and add in the word travel and then hit enter and now look at that there's over 1000 templates specifically made for travel youtube thumbnails that you can choose edit and use for your very own video and last but not least once you have your video done you have your channel set up and you have your thumbnail when it comes to uploading your video it's as simple as ever you simply click onto your channel where it says create on this icon and then you click upload video and then it's going to take you to your creator studio in this spot where you can simply locate the file you downloaded from in video add in your thumbnail add in your title description and all that good stuff and then you're done you have your viral video ready to go and there you have it guys i've done all the hard work for you i've made this process as easy as it could possibly be so now you have absolutely no excuses for this i'm holding you to it and if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel